Hello lovelies. I am here today with a card share. Um, as you know, if you watched my haul video, um, I got some goodies from Vanessa, 77 Butterfly Love, um, on YouTube. I ordered the Woodland Park collection from October Afternoon uh, from her shop, and I highly recommend you purchase stuff with her because she is super phenomenal to work with, and she got that stuff in the mail, and it arrived in two days. It was crazy. Anyway, this is the first card and the only card I've made with it so far because I shirt mommy duty last night after the geekling was in bed and I played hooky from vacuuming and doing the dishes, so, oh, yeah, oh well. <laughs> At any rate, uh, I made this card. It is, let's get it in the frame. I kind of love it. I love the colors. It's simple, and I know it's probably not what you guys are used to seeing, but I love it, so that's what counts. Um, I used the two papers. Uh, these two papers are from the collection, and in the middle of these flowers, I used, I wanted a little sparkle and a little dimension, so I used the cantaloupe liquid pearls in the center of each of these flowers. And I think it turned out kind of okay. Um, I should have, you know, flicked the bottom to make some of these bigger ones round out, but that's okay. Um, over here on some of the pink dots, I used uh, some Kaiser Craft rhinestones. And I love these. The adhesive on them is so fabulous. You don't have to stick them down with anything else. Uh, for the sentiment, I stamped it on... It's like, it's actually that same color as back there, that creamy cardstock. Uh, I stamped it with Versamark um, and used Recollections Sapphire Embossing Powder, which I actually don't recommend you buy because it doesn't, it's just not as pretty as some of the higher quality ones. Um, the sentiment is from this Pebbles stamp set. It does not have a name. I have no idea what it is, but it's just these banner sentiments, and I kind of love them, even though they don't stamp perfectly. I guess maybe I need to condition them, if you know that pebble stamps need to be conditioned. Could you leave me a comment and tell me? Maybe give me some tips, because I'm just not sure. At any rate, um, cut it out, popped it up a little bit on some foam adhesive. And then for these little chipboard bunny creatures that are so cute, I love them so much. I used, I'm not sure if the camera's going to show it, but I used stickles on the tail and stickles on the eyes. Um, I used stardust stickles for the tail. There we go, focusing. And I just used black diamond stickles for the eyes. Because the eyes were kind of freaky, they were just, they were white, and, you know, they looked kind of like zombie bunnies, and, you know, the floral and the dots and the lattice punch were just not working with the whole uh, zombie bunny theme. Oh, and the, the middle punch is this EK Success thing that I got from TJ Maxx, which is hard to punch with. I have no idea why, but this thing is crazy hard to punch with, even with super thin paper. Maybe that's why they're all at TJ Maxx, because they're just not as as great as, I don't know. I just, whatever. It's pretty though, so I'll go with it. At any rate, that's my card. I hope you like it. All that good stuff. I hope you subscribe and leave me comments, even if you're commenting to tell me that you hate my card and, you know, I need to go back to card school or whatever. Just, you know, comment. Anyway, thank you. Love, love. 